Hi, it's Pavel with yet another Java homework. Uh, this time it's from chapter 3, uh, exercise 3. And it's, we will be creating some strange or generating some strange phone number. Uh, so you can read the assignment on the screen. It's a write a program that creates and prints a random phone number of the form xxx-xxx-xxx so in other words it's a regular US phone number include the dashes in the output alright so and now some restrictions <laughs> we uh, the first three digits uh, cannot uh, contain 8 or 9 in other words they can be only from 1 through 7 or 0 um, and make sure that the second set of three digits, uh, in the last three digits, is no greater than 742. Uh, in other words, the middle, that's going to be the, that's the second set of three digits, it's the middle one, uh, is no greater than 742. I don't know why this is just the assignment to practice uh, a little bit with uh, for uh, random numbers. All right, well let's get coding. Since we'll be doing uh, random numbers, obviously we need to import java.util.random. Okay, like that. And before I forget, which happens to me quite often, let me create the object. Uh, random like that now we have three sets uh, of digits but uh, all right how is that again the first three digits cannot contain eight or nine in other words this digit has to be less than seven this digit has to be less than eight I'm sorry and this digit has to be less than eight all right so um, let's do it like this in first equals and we will write generate a random number of integer next integer which will be uh, from 0 to 8 8 not included so we need we need uh, it starts from 0 to 7 included Right, because 8 and 9 is not supposed to be in the first, second, or third number. So it's the same for the second one. Uh, equals rand. Uh, next integer uh, 7. And for the third one, 12. Equals rand. Dot next integer 7. Alright, so that's the first three digits. And they have to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But no 8 or 9. Alright. Now the middle part. They cannot be greater than 742. In other words, they have to be 741 or less. So, um, alright. We will, we will hold that number. Over here we have each digit separately. This is actually three numbers together, 741 uh, or less. So we will do uh, integer middle equals uh, random next integer. But this time it's going to be 741. In other words, it will hold. Um, Numbers from 0 to 741, it could be 0, 0, 0, or it could be 741, it's the maximum. That's the f middle three digits, and now the, uh, the last uh, will be, there's no restrictions in the assignment, so it's going to be next, integer, and it's four digits, and the highest four digits would be, 9,999 because 10,000 would be already five digits. 
All right. Uh, now, this would give us the numbers, but the output has to be in a string format because we need the uh, we need the dashes in between. So I'm going to hold a string. Uh, not the first string, that's the middle one and the last one uh, because uh, mi middle string and uh, string last string because there's only two two dashes so we need two, two variables to hold them so we will okay um, now middle string middle string uh, will equal what is it going equal to integer to string uh, to string the middle number And last string, string will equal integer what, uh, uh, to string. It's going to be the last number. All right. Now, it may happen. And we will get less than three digits here. Let's say the random number will generate, I don't know, number five. It is less than 741, right? So uh, in that case, we have to pad the other two digits with zeros. So, because uh, the number has to be in the format of three digits, dash three digits, dash four digits. And so it cannot be one, two, three, dash, five dash and then another four digits so uh, we need three digits in the middle so we will use zeros like if, if number five is uh, let's say generated then it looks gonna be zero zero five all right so uh, let's do that while middle string dot length Is less than three. In other words, if it's not three digits, then with middle string equals zero, we will add zero, and whatever the number that's already there. All right. To recap, uh, let's say we generate number five so it will come over over here and it will hold number five in the string format uh, in the middle string variable now we will check if the length of middle string is less than three it is it's uh, only one number five it's a single digit so it will put zero in front of five so now there's two digits zero and five it goes again is it less than three yes it is so it goes here and puts another zero in front of zero five now that's zero zero five that's three digits is it less than three no it goes to the next line which will be uh, very similar but it's going to be for the last uh, string of digits the last four which is uh, this one so uh, while last string that length is less than four because this is a four digits just put zeros in front of it uh, the numbers so last string equals zero plus last string Again, this is basically padding 
less than four digits with zeros. Now, again, if this is uh, a string of 0, 05, then the output will be 0, 0, 0, 005. All right. So uh, now we have to output it with the dashes in between, which is a simple system that uh, out that print line. I uh, will convert everything to string. So integer dot to string. The first plus. I'll just copy it. Plus uh, second and plus third. These are the single digits that we uh, we generated. Remember, they cannot be 8 or 9. They can be from 0 to 7. And third. Uh, so that's the first three digits. A dash. Now the middle string. That already has three digits. Middle string. And it's already in string format. Because we converted it to string right here. Uh, so middle string after that after those three digits there's a dash and last string so we will output the first digit second digit third digit dash three more digits dash and the last four digits all right let's give it a try All right, so uh, you can see it formatted it correctly. Three digits, three digits, and four digits. Uh, what is the condition supposed to be? So no eight and nine, the first three digits. All right, let's concentrate on that. Let's generate a few more. No eight and nine, two, four, six, one, four, five, six, four, one, six, zero, five, one, two, zero, six, five, two, four, two, Four five zero two three three. So no, uh, no eight or nine. But I think this has to be eight because we don't get any sevens. Because number eight is not the uh, the maximum. It basically says from zero to eight, eight nine. Eight not included. In other words, eight zero plus eight is eight. So that would be zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me just try again. Five, five, five. Well, I get a movie. Zero, zero, two, six, six, four. Am I gonna get any sevens ever? Still five, five, five. A lot of fives. I'll see. Any sevens, not ah, seven, but no eight and nine. So the first three digits we got, uh, that's correct. Now the middle has to be less than 741. So let's do a few uh, 502, 503, 495. Now in this example, see the number generated was 27, and the zero was padded in front of it over here. All right, uh, it looks like it's not going above 741. It's supposed to be 741, 742. So it actually has to be 742. Again, from zero to 742. I mean, from zero, we start and the 742 digits from zero is actually 741 because it's a zero based and the last four digits is basically random uh, digits that would be from zero to each digit would be zero to nine or in other words the highest number is nine 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 which uh, yeah it clearly is all right, uh, so uh, this is my solution, and I uh, hope it helped you. I uh, hope you uh, 
came up with your own solution, a better one, preferably, I guess, but in any case, just keep practicing, keep programming, and do your homework, that's how you learn. Alright, see you next video, take care.